Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ohio Man, and welcome back to SRX The Game. We are back here in Championship Mode here in SRX Series, and we are getting ready to do the next race here in the, uh, the schedule. Uh, we'll check the, uh, the stats so far right now, we are first place in the standings, uh, first place in Sugarbush, first place at Elm Creek, first place in Madison Lake, and we're gonna go for a, a first place, or uh, what? Oh, that's point standing. Oh, wait. What's going on? Oh. I don't know. It's confusing. It says I placed first. Oh, point standing. Okay. I thought I'm like, did I... Re <laughs> I don't remember what came in here first. But anyhow, uh, we're going to go ahead and start this race here on Walnut Creek. Uh, it's going to be here in Michigan. Uh, half half mile track, uh, low banking, and it's gonna be twenty seven. I think it's a twenty seven mile event. I'm not sure. I think it's twenty seven miles. Um. <clears throat> so the deal with this track is, is that it is super 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 hard to turn on this track. So I'm gonna be actually going a little loose. We're gonna be going sixty percent loose here. I'm gonna practice on it, and I might revert it later, to be honest with you. So we're gonna try it out now, make sure it works, and watch me revert it later. And we're gonna come around here for the first lap of practice. We'll do like five laps. First lap of qualifying, not qualifying, practice. And that's what I don't want to happen. Loose setup here is not it, so we're gonna be going over to 50% loose. Let's see what I can do with that. Yeah, I'm gonna try and make it work here. Percent loose. I mean, it's a little tighter, but. I won't be slipping and sliding a lot. A little under the wall there. Seventeen two hundred. Not too good on the lap times here. I'll finish up the practice here. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it. This is not gonna be a good race. Move on to practice or to the race. So here we are here at Walnut Creek. To be going green here on SRX series. The outside line is not the way. So, in this track, you want the inside. Oh, man. 
That's in too good there. Paul Tracy there almost spinning. On the brakes a little more. Oh no! A little into Monty there. And I believe. Is that Scott Speed? Yeah. I think I've figured out the line, so. I'm gonna do a little bit more braking than I thought I did, but in order to make it around that turn without hitting the outside wall, a lot of braking has to happen. So now that I've figured out the line, I'm not gonna actually catch up to these guys. Come on up behind Greg Biffle here. And I'm cutting these lap times in half here. The record time was that last time was that last lap there was a 16.248 there. Tires are looking decent. Not as loose as the other setup. Coming up on Greg Biffle here, and I'm definitely going to try and pass him right here. There we go. We made a pass on Biffle there. And we are back on the asphalt. better on asphalt but I'm not too sure about saying that anymore because on this track I'm not too good. I'm good on this track on super late models though. Because let me tell you one thing, the super late models in these cars handle way different. There's a completely different square when it comes to those things. Cutting lap times in half here is 16.059 on that last lap. I think I've really got the line down here. up on Tony Stewart here. And passing Tony Stewart with zero effort almost. I have definitely learned this track. And speaking of learning tracks here. And did she good by hitting that wall. A minute 20 seconds left remaining in the first heat. Working my way up to the two leaders here. I just have to pass Stuart here. Ninety-seven percent all around on tires, correct? Nope. Ninety-seven on the right, ninety-eight on the left, ninety-six right rear. And I think I'm gonna make a pass right here. There we go, swoop down in there. We 
really got to use the brakes on this track. The brakes will save you. A little bit of wall contact there on the exit of turn four. We are working, working my way up. I don't think. I don't think I'm catching up to Ernie Francis Jr. up there. But we're definitely gonna hopefully finish ahead of Tony Stewart. Here. I don't know. He decides to spin me here. It's kind of funny you do that. That's gonna get, uh, it's gonna be a drag race, but no, nope, not quite. Blocked in there. Fourth place finish there. Unfortunately, Tony Stewart decided to choose violence and spin us out on turn two on that final lap. Uh, Castro Nevis was able to pass. Uh, but we're gonna start ninth here uh, on the next second stage here. And here we go. And we're going to pass under these guys here. I believe that was Greg Griffin up past. And we're going to get on those brakes. So oh boy. Almost spinning Tony Kamon again. Two races in a row. Really getting on those brakes. Oh man, he's got to get out of the way. And I got to get on the brakes hard now. As I've made myself all the way up to fourth place here. Catching up with the big guys here. Look here behind the Bonsi. Oh boy. Oh, he got really loose there. I don't entirely know what happened. Nevis here, using him a little bit as a turn here. We're gonna come up on like a wall trip. And we're gonna try and get past him here on this next turn. Little bump and run there. Quite necessary though for the lead. We're going to be ahead of Castanovas, I believe that is. Yeah. So we will try and make some new uh, lap times here. Still to do here with Cashinovas. We are slowly pulling away, I believe. We're looking at the leaderboard here. Check if that's right, but I don't think so. I think we're pretty much. Yeah, it's a little bit surely. Nope, oh, he's coming up on me. That wall is a tasty one. We will check tires here. We are 92% there on the right rear, 93 on the right front. 95 on the left side. And Kessler Nevis has decided that he would like to take the lead.
And we're going to be coming under Casanova's here. And going low there. And we are still ahead of the customer, so a little contact with the outside uh, exit of turn four. Closing his opportunities off, not quite, and getting really loose, trying to save it. While still maintaining the lead, and there's going to be a spin. 80 bitty cash in there. Why is that not a caution? The fact that that wasn't a caution kind of pissed me off, but I don't know what it was. All went on there. Don't Spinning Aaron Francis Jr. there, and that's going to be not good. That's going to cause a caution. Zoom this real quick. We're gonna go back green here. With Ten seconds left here in the stage or the heat. Unfortunately, we had that damage. It's gonna make it a little more difficult. Hopefully, that gets fixed before the main race. I don't know why Scott Speed wanted to make that move. That's going to finish out the second heat there. In sixth place, we will be starting in, I think, sixth because I finished sixth both times. Nope, finishing fifth, or starting fifth. So we're going to be starting fifth here in the heat, or in the main. main. Um, strangely enough, still have that damage. I thought that gets fixed uh, before the race starts. So that's actually going to not be good at all for us. I don't even think we're going to be able to win uh, due to that radiator damage because it's actually going to slow the car down quite a bit. And I don't even think it's possible to get a win. I don't know what Greg Biffle was thinking of trying to cut the high line there. But, uh... We're going to be third here on this restart here behind Andretti and Francis Jr. And apparently going to pass them. And we're going to be 89% there on that right rear. I'm not 
try and maintain a lead here, but I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, well, they're just going to go right around me. This radiator damage is not good and will not be good. I don't expect a first place finish after that. I'll try and maintain speed, but... It's not going to happen. I don't know what the hell they're trying to do. And we're going to be trying to come up on... Is ready here. We are 0 0.6 seconds, 0 0.7 seconds behind him. And Marco Andretti there extending his lead to point nine seconds. Pretty separated between everyone here. And Marco Andretti decided to be 1.4 seconds ahead of me. We're here in second, one half seconds ahead. Making contact with the wall and all kinds of stupid stuff. This race is not going very well. We're 17 laps in this one. And getting a little loose coming around there. Tony Stewart has decided to make an appearance. And I've tried blocking them like crazy. If anything, I think I'm going to come out with the second place or third or fourth place finish. Second, third, or fourth is what I think I'm going to end up here. No way, Jose, I come up and catch up to Mark Montreal up there, but... I can still defend my place here. At least a little bit. Until they try and spin me.
And I think Tony Stewart's gonna get up get by us there. Yes he is. So probably third or fourth place finish here because honestly once they pass me I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch up due to the radiator damage that I've got here but And the massive aero damage that I have. Let's take a look at the car here real quick. Yeah, it's not looking too good right now in that department. We have 25 laps to go here on Walnut Night Crew. In the SRX series, back on asphalt here, and uh, it's not looking too good for us right now. Uh, we got 24 laps to go now. We went third, and we got the radiator damage. It's not looking too hot, and the me almost spinning there on the exit of turn two doesn't help things out either, so. I'm trying to hold things together here. Not uh, looking too good. That looseness from that 83% tire. It's kind of fun. These cars just cannot uh, maintain themselves once they get to like the, the even below 90% to be right. And unfortunately, Ketchum is, is going to get by. The question is how many more will be going by? Because it will happen eventually. Well, maybe Ketchum is a little slower than I thought. But, okay. 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 And that's not good for that front bumper. We're gonna bring back uh, the group here after that caution. Just a little this. I tried saving it there, but uh, yeah, that wasn't too good. I'm gonna try and get past these guys here. Unfortunately, with that engine damage, that's gonna make us lose the race for sure. There is no coming back from this race. The engine damage will ultimately kill the, the entire race for us. Alright, we'll get that flashing red light out on my face. We'll look at the lap times here. That 16059 there is, is the record. Probably will be the record for a while now. We'll check the leaderboard here. We are very behind. In fact, 2.2 seconds behind the leader here. It's not looking too hot for us right now. We're gonna make a little pass just we're looking on there. Get a little loose. Put it back together. Yeah, this race is not looking too hot for us. 62% on aero, 93% on the engine, and 61% on the radiator. That radiator is not looking too hot right now. Well, it, it probably is really hot right now. We're almost going to make a pass here on Scott Speed. We do have a little bit of momentum to do that. Unfortunately, the radiator is down to 61%. It's really getting beat up here. I'm going to make a low pass here and it's got speed. And hopefully not place as far back as 6th 
Because that is still pretty far back. Get this out on my face for now. Look at the leaderboard. We are 1.1 seconds behind on the Stewart. And that lead seems to be growing. So unfortunately, I think fifth place is about as good as we're going to get today. <coughs> Unless another caution comes out. With nine laps to go, though, I don't think that's likely. But then again, another caution might come out anyway. Because, you know, like the 80% that I got on tires right now. Anyway, so. And I don't know how that keeps getting on the screen there. We are 3.9, almost forced there. It is four seconds, but we are four seconds behind the leader right now, and it is not looking too hot. We have what, five more laps to go, six more laps to go. And five laps to go here. Five laps for fifth place. Unfortunately, Tony Stewart seems to be here. That's not Tony Stewart. I think Scott Speed. Scott Speed wants to pass here. Well, I ain't gonna let him. Because I'm settling for no less than fifth. And it looks like I'm more than fifth right now, unfortunately. But Three laps to go here on Walnut Creek. It's coming down to not, you know, it's coming down to a lot right now. It's not even coming down to the wire. I mean, I've got a pretty decent lead ahead of speed right there. That best record lap is still the best. And Point six seconds ahead of skip speed. And we are white flag racing right now and it doesn't really seem like much is happening. Unfortunately this race will not turn out to be the best. But nonetheless, a fifth place finish is not last. So that is gonna do it there for uh Walnut Creek. We'll look at some replays here. Alright, that looks pretty good. Pretty interesting. Alright, we are going to continue on into the results. Fifth place there, Walnut Creek. <coughs> Wasn't doing too hot there. Fifth season standing still going to be uh, first place though. We'll look at this race though. Marco Andretti there finishing first. Good for him. Hilo Kishinev is Ernie Francis Jr. Then Tony Stewart. And then, yeah, we'll look at the full season standings here. <clears throat> Marco Andretti with the win under the belt there. That's gonna be good for him in points. And yeah, we'll we'll check that out later. And that's gonna do it for Walnut Creek. Unfortunately, the uh, wrecks and looseness of the car uh, did not do too well uh, to the engine and the, the radiator. Fifth place there, and next track is going to be Knoxville over in Iowa. So we'll see you on that track. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like, and go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. Uh, if you're on Twitch, go ahead and follow. <coughs> um... Go check out the other videos I got. I got all kinds of stuff. Racing, shooting. I, lo I, I love what I'm doing right now, and this is really fun. And uh, thank you for watching if you are. So with uh, that being said, thanks for watching. Have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one.